So in this video, I'm going to explain displacement diagram of cam, which is used to move the follower with uniform velocity. Now see the problem. A cam is to give the following motion to knife-edged follower. Outstroke during 60 degrees of cam rotation, followed by dwell for the next 30 degrees of cam rotation, followed by return stroke during next 60 degrees of cam rotation, and dwell for the remaining 210 degrees of cam rotation. The stroke of the follower is 40 mm and the follower moves with uniform velocity during both the outstroke and return stroke. Draw the displacement diagram. Now I want to explain stepwise procedure how you are going to construct the displacement diagram. This displacement diagram is very much useful for constructing the cam profile. So all the, the distances at each and every point, how much is moved the follower that can be taken from this displacement diagram. So first of all, you can uh, draw the rectangle. The size of the rectangle is uh, the, the length is equal to the complete one rotation of the cam that is the 360 degrees. And the height of the rectangle is equal to stroke of the follower, the stroke length of the follower. Now this entire length of the rectangle is divided into the uh, whatever the sequence of operations are carried out to, uh, as per the given problem. So first it will take the outstroke. So this outstroke is uh, uh, happening in 60 degrees of rotation of the can. Then followed by dwell and this dwell is next 30 degrees. Then return stroke, the return stroke is next 60 degrees and remaining uh, the angle of rotation is completely dwell. Then again it starts from the outstroke, dwell, return stroke, dwell. So that cycle will be repeating. Now in this uh, um, problem, the follower is moving with uniform velocity, both the outstroke and the return stroke. First of all, divide the outstroke into the number of equal parts. Here I have taken eight equal parts. I have taken eight equal parts, mark the, uh, the eight points, and from each point draw the vertical lines from each point draw the vertical lines similarly for the return stroke also uh, you, you can do it so for outstroke for constructing the displacement diagram just two corners the bottom corner and top corner you can join so now you can see that the intersection points these vertical lines in diagonal line intersection points you can mark and name these points A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. So this is the complete, uh, the points are obtained during the outstroke. Then we will move to the uh, dwell period is remains uh, constant because dwell means the follower is re remains at that position I. So next uh, the return stroke also you dividing into the number of equal parts. Here also I taken the eight equal parts. So first mark the points and from each point draw the vertical lines. Then you can join the diagonals. Then uh, the diagonal line will intersect these vertical lines and each intersection points you can mark and uh, name these uh, uh, from the sequence I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R. Then uh, you can draw the, join all these points, you can obtain the profile. Now you can see that uh, the profile of the, uh, the, the that is uh, the uh, displacement actual points of the displacement is a b c d e f g h i j k l m n o p q r s this is the actual uh, displacement diagram so these distances are very much useful to construct the cam profile that is the 1b 2c 3d 4e like that these distances you can measure here and the transfer to the while constructing a cam profile so once if you construct the camp profile, we can understand how it is useful. Okay, so I hope everybody understand the displacement diagram of the follower, which is moving with uniform.